Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhad in which we would look at AMT part four or five. It means I already have three other parts before this. In this session, we're gonna work an example simulation because in the first three session, I explained AMT and the tails. Now it's, it's time to work an example or a CPA simulation. Obviously this topic is dreaded by students. It's covered on the CPA exam as well as an income tax course. As always, I would like to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn. If you haven't done so, YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,700 plus accounting, auditing, tax, finance, as well as Excel tutorial. If you like my lectures, please like them, share them, put them in playlist. If they benefit you, it means they might benefit other people. Connect with me on Instagram. On my website, farhatlectures.com, this is where you can find additional resources to supplement your accounting education, your CPA exam, your finance courses. Don't shortchange yourself. Your education is important. Passing the exam is a 20, I would say 30 to 40 year investment in your career. Study hard, Get put it behind you so you can focus on your career, make the money, live the life that you want. So let's take a look at this CPA simulation. Again, I could even give you more exhibits and I'll show you how I can do that. Nathan is married with two children and has an AGI of 405. He has the following AMT adjustments and preferences. So rather than giving you AGI 405, I can give you the tax return. And on the line, you have to find out that AGI is 405. Or I can just tell you AGI is 405. A uh, potential itemized deduction are as follow, medical after the floor, taxes, mortgage interest, and charitable, charitable contribution. And the first thing they're asking you in this exhibit, let, let's go over the problem, then we'll do it step by step. They're giving you the itemized deduction. They're giving you depreciation of a rental property purchase in August 2018 for 21,000, uh, 210,000. Depreciation on real property, on personal property, personal property c you have a computer a piece of furniture they're giving you the date the cost they want you to find the maker's life and amt maker's depreciation amt depreciation and any adjustments also you have incentive stock option nathan exercise options to purchase three thousand shares at 19 dollars when the market is 26. prepare a 6251 for the calculation of amt assume regular tax of 76,785. now if you understand AMT, this should be an easy peasy problem. Okay, it should be like, okay, bring it on. If this is a one simulation AMT and you understand AMT, it should be good to go. But if you don't understand AMT, you're gonna be confused and intimidated. So let's go ahead and start to look at this step by step. So simply put, we have to complete a 6251 calculation for AMT. Now, would they give you an actual form? I'm not really sure. They may not give you the actual 6251, but they might give you some sort of a drop down boxes where you have to kind of compute this in order. So let's first take a look at this itemized deduction. So we need to know what's deducted for regular tax and what's deducted for AMT and what type of adjustments we need to make. Well, remember the first thing we do when we compute AMT, we have to compute what's called regular taxable income, regular taxable income. Okay, now we, we are giving adjusted gross income. Now we have to come up with regular taxable income. So what does that mean? It means we have to take 405 and deduct from 405, you know, remember itemized deduction are after AGI. They're from AGI. Therefore we have to deduct those from AGI. So we have to deduct 5,375 for medical, let me just 5,375 for medical taxes. We can only deduct. Remember tax cuts and jobs act. We can only deduct 10,000 mortgage interest. We can deduct the whole thing 14,900 in charitable contribution another deduction of 18,000. So first let's find this individual regular taxable income because that's the first thing you want to, you want to know. So let's take a look at it. Let me increase the calculator here, the size of the calculator, because that's the first thing you want to do. When you start 6251, you start with regular taxable income. So 405, this is adjusted gross income, minus 5375, minus 10,000, minus 14,900, minus 18,000. And that's going to give us 300. 56,725 and that's going to be on the first line of the of the 6251 because you start with with regular taxable income okay now the, the, if they gave you the schedule basically you're going to say well for AMT this deduction is taken 53 
75. There is no adjustment. Taxes, remember, we only take 10,000 for regular. AMT, you don't take any. You cannot take this. You have to add back. So this is a positive adjustment. So simply put, we're going to start for 356, 725. Then we're going to add to it $10,000 for the taxes. You can take the 14,900 for AMT, no adjustments. You can take the 18,000 adjustment for charitable contribution, no adjustments. So simply put, remember that taxes is the only adjustment. And remember the maximum you can take for regular tax is 10,000. Therefore, the maximum you're going to add back is 10,000. So this is the first thing we do. Now, we're going to have to deal with the depreciation, but before we de deal with the depreciation, I prefer to figure out the incentive stock option, get that out of the way, because for one thing, it's easier, not easier, it's cleaner. It's just have a quick calculation you have to make. It's cleaner. Okay. Then we'll work on with the depreciation, but we'll go and work on it on an Excel sheet. I can do it here, but I prefer to do on an Excel sheet because I want to show you the exhibits where the numbers are coming from. So let's take a look at the incentive stock option. So Nathan exercise options to purchase 3000 shares at 19. When the market value is 26 well it's going to trigger some taxable income for amt so what's the difference between 26 and 19 basically he can make seven dollar per share it's three thousand not he make he made he made he can make immediately seven dollar per share whether he sells them or not as far as amt nathan will have 21,000 of taxable income as far as amt now for regular tax nothing happened until eventually Nate sells them but for AMT we have another adjustment therefore we started with 356 we added 10,000 now we're going to add another 21,000 the reason I'm doing this here because once I start to complete 6251 you know where the numbers are coming from now we're going to focus on we're going to focus on the depreciation so the, to do the depreciation I'm going to go to the excel sheet once again because I want to show you where all the numbers are coming from so let's go ahead and do it remember we we purchased real property rental real property rental property rental property which is commercial it's not residential commercial that's very important for 210 so it's very important to know it's not residential it's commercial why is that important because for commercial let, let me explain why for b you really have no adjustment because for commercial you 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 depreciate this over 39 years for amt you depreciate this over 40 years what congress said there's only one year difference don't worry about this adjustment so simply put because it's rental property which is commercial we don't have to worry about it be careful if this was residential remember the residential is 27 and a half years and when you turn it into 40 years it makes a difference so for commercial basically this is done okay this is done Again, easy peasy if you understand this concept. Now we're going to work on the depreciation on the personal property. Let's take a look at this Excel sheet and see what we are given. We are giving two assets purchased in 2015 and we are in 2019. We are in 2019. So we have 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19. We have five years. So first, if you want, if you want to find out what's the life, what's the life of the asset? What's the life of the asset? The life of the computer, you have to understand it's five years. Now you, it might be given to you in an example or you might have to or you might have to um, it might you might have to look it up in the exhibit but remember computers is five years there are certain things you have to memorize furniture the life of a furniture is seven years the cost of the computer is 2,900 the cost for the furniture is 12,000 given so the first thing you want to do is you want to compute makers depreciation because you're going to have to compute makers compare makers to EMT and find out what your adjustment should be so for makers we are looking at a five-year asset so let's go to the makers table here's the makers table the computer is a five-year asset let me get my pen and start to draw so it's makers five-year asset and we're looking at year five so this is 2015 16 17 18 19 so we're going to take 11.52 so the rate is 11.52 take the rate times the base so the maker's depreciation is 334 334 dollars and eight pennies let's do the amt immediately for the amt you have to use a different table you have to use the 150 percent double declining once again those those are the exhibit that you have to pull and this is going to be intimidating on the exam day but all what you're doing is just clear your mind this is depreciation you know depreciation slow down relax and you'll be fine again it's a five-year property 
recovery is five years and, and we are in year five therefore for amt you're going to take 16.66 percent so let's go ahead 16.66 percent take your base times 16.66 percent and find the difference between between makers and AMT and look for AMT you're gonna take more deduction which is good it's a negative adjustment so for the asset for this asset for the computer it's a negative adjustment let's do the same thing for furniture the furniture is a seven-year asset you go to the accelerated table seven years and you would say okay seven years year five the rate for makers is 8.93 8.93 let me find 8.93 times 12,000 that's 1071 I have to do I have to go to to the 150 uh, and seven year and 12.25 percent 12.25 percent and I multiplied by the the my uh, 12,000 find the difference again it's a negative adjustment so basically what we have is we have a negative adjustment of 500 and 547 dollars now what they could do also on the exam they could also give you the exhibit for the property they could give you exhibits for the property for the rental property to confuse you but you don't have to do this for this in this situation because it's a commercial property just congress says it's too small just move on don't worry about it okay now once we have this information basically what we did is we answered all the questions all that we have to do now is complete the 6251 so let's go ahead and complete the 6251 let's take a look at form 6251 and start the form again on line one you're going to start with taxable income that we computed early on and was three hundred fifty six thousand seven seven twenty five remember we took agi minus the standard deduction then we added from Schedule A, we added from Schedule A $10,000, $10,000 for the taxes that you could not, the taxes that you could not deduct for AMT. Then after that, we went to line 2I, and this is exercise of incentive stock options. And here, let me increase the size of this a little bit more if I can. Okay, for the, um, for the exact, for the incentive stock options, uh, incentive stock options I we added 21,000 Nathan exercised those options then for depreciation uh, depreciation of asset placed in service after 1986 difference between AMT and uh, regular tax remember this was a negative adjustment negative 547 so we did all the all we did all these computation all what I'm doing is filling out the form if I net everything out it will net out to 300 87,178. Now let's complete the form. Nathan is married filing jointly. Married filing jointly exemption is 111,700. So 111,700. Are we going to lose any of this 111,700? And the answer is no. We don't have to trim down the exemption because 387,178 is way below the phase out of a million twenty thousand. Therefore, and Nathan's going to qualify for the whole exemption. Then 387,178 minus 111, that's going to give us 275, which is the taxable income for AMT, 275,478. And I'm sure you're starting to notice something unusual here. I hope so. Now we, we, we multiply this rather than 26. We multiply this by 28% minus 3,896. And that's going to give us taxes of 73,238, 238. Uh, we have no credits. We have no credits. Therefore, our AMT tax is 73,238, uh, 238. And we are giving regular tax was from the problem 76,785. Where does this number came from that was given to you at the end of the simulation? I told you regular tax 76,785. So guess what? We did we did all this work for nada, for nothing. So we don't have an AMT. Why? Because the regular tax is 76,785. AMT is 73. The government is not want, doesn't want you to pay less taxes. They want you to pay more taxes. So that's why the software usually tells you whether you qualify or not. Because sometimes if you do all this work, oftentimes it's like, okay, I don't qualify for AMT tax. Qualifying for AMT tax, you'll think it's better because it's minimum tax. Not at all. It's in addition to your regular tax if it's more than your regular tax. Here, we don't have anything. So we fill out the form. Okay, great. That's excellent. That's excellent news. So this is basically, I hope you now you understand AMT. I'm going to remind you, 
go to my website farhatlectures.com if you're looking to learn about this topic or tax topic or audit or governmental accounting to supplement your education or your CPA preparation. Study hard, good luck, stay safe, especially if we're still living through the coronavirus.